somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we're really excited for Some probably of one of the most accidentally funny movie series that we've seen so far the first one was outstanding we're gonna be taking a look at twilight new moon 2009's now, gem i don't know if the oak and i have laughed as hard as we did after watching the first one so i can only imagine where this one goes from here i'm folks i'm genuinely excited to watch this well i am definitely ready willing and able to yes, see if are. this is a lower score than the last one because oh, i gave it a two and a half and that to be generous and then i erased the 0. 0.5 so it was a two <laughs> so i i got i gotta see if this is worse i've 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 heard some that say it's better i've heard a lot a lot a lot say it's worse so let's see how much more creepy he can be how much weirder stairs he can have let's see stairs. if they can still talk about how he's 110 years old and she's wow. 17 and uh, we'll go on from there. I, I, I gave the first movie a. Re I gave him two scores. Hundreds of uh, reactions we've done here on Bad Medicine, and it was the first time I've given two scores for a movie. One for what I actually thought mm -hmm. the quality of the movie was, and the second score for its entertainment value. I, I, I couldn't do it any other way, and I had so much fun watching that movie with these guys. I well, think that, that was a disclaimer. Was the entertainment yeah. value was yeah. watching it with us. I probably if had been on his couch. I probably home, had as, zero entertainment. I probably had as much fun looking over and seeing the look on Anzers' face. <laughs> the eye rolls. Looking over. But no, so a lot of people did say in the comments, uh, you'll have to excuse me, I lost my voice a little bit. People did say in the comments that the budget was up for the second movie, that acting was a little bit better, which a little bit better from the first one still is. Uh, yeah, so know, I'm not gonna tell. Like you brought Rob the bar from here job. to here, um, but I, I, got, I gotta be honest, guys, I could not tell you the last time I was more excited <laughs> to watch a sequel of a movie, and uh, I just can't wait to get this sparkly party started. Oh. We're gonna have so much fun. Answer. All right, I guess without further ado, let's go. These violent delights have violent ends, which is they kiss, consume. Oh, we're doing what are we doing here? They're oh, they're so waving red flags, literally. Success. First I thought they're in Spain. Okay, now she's in a forest. Is this the field where she first laid down and laughed with him? Who's that in the distance? Oh, I wonder if we've had a time jump. Hmm. Oh. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I'm always watching I'm you. Like, oh, she'll see you. Oh, he's sparkling. Oh, God. It looks <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> they even have the sound effects, like the, the glistening mm. sound effect. Is that her in the future? Because he'll still be that age? Oh, maybe. Good call answer. You're tuned in. It oh, is. Same ring? Yep, that's her. Because she's going to age. She's going to age and he's going to stay the same. Hey, bro, take off. Ah, Romeo and Juliet, uh, of course. Happy birthday. Charlie. I always read no presents. Well, the one for me is not wrapped. Well, that's actually great. Thanks, Dad. Your mom. We coordinated. She coordinated me. How'd you get so old so fast? I didn't. It's not that old. I don't know. Is that a gray hair? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, she gets upset. Another missing oh, hiker, huh? Three of them. That's good. Cullen's here. Yay. <laughs> They couldn't, have just, they couldn't have just shown him walking over. It's got to be like this the slow the industrial walk. fan blowing his hair and his shirt ajar. <laughs> How'd it get so windy in here? Oh, your birth is definitely something to celebrate. I'm 109. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't be dating such an old man. After the first movie, somebody said something. Yeah, like we got to uh, set this we'll, in. We'll throw it in there real quick to get it out of the way. Yeah, now she's 18, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> Bella. Jacob. 
I'll leave you. So. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that, hair. that hair is something else. Hello, biceps. You know, anabolic steroids are really bad for you. <laughs> I was just buying a part for the uh, rabbit. You should really come take a ride when it's done. God. <laughs> oh, look at him. Hey, I saw this the other day and thought of you. Ah, see? Oh, my God. Look what did you get her for her birthday, Edward? Friend hug. Yeah, see you later. Uh, friend, hug. Oh, friend hug. Friend oh, hug. Oh, the look he's giving him. Ass, was it the ass out hug? <laughs> it's like... <gasps> She told him not oh. to give a gift. Oh, okay. Oh, you give me everything just by breathing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I sent you presents. I've already seen you open it and guess. You're gonna wear it tonight. Our place. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right. Oh, great. Death hath sucked the honey of thy breath. <laughs> <laughs> he knows all the words. <laughs> Is true love. That would have been sleeping. me. That would have been me in class. I didn't know if I'd get you in turn. I had to come up with some kind of plan. I go to Italy and provoke the Volturi. Mr. Cullen. He's gonna nail it. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Birdie. Um, and shake the yoke of unauspicious stars from this world worried flesh. <laughs> Eyes on the screen, people. If you were a six <laughs> if you were a sixteen year old girl. In the theaters watching that, your heart like melted. Right. Straight no, melted. No, I, I don't. Know. And the guys there, they were like, You never say anything like that to me. Yeah. Oh, what? I've been with them for a few decades. This picture, this picture I've seen in a million memes. I didn't know it was from, I didn't know it was from Twilight. <laughs> oh, they're moving. This is in a million oh. memes. I've never so seen like, it. I'm, it's like the I'm too good for you meme with him looking down over the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's from Twilight. <laughs> and only one that's regularly enforced. That we keep the existence of our kind a secret. Oh, he's going to know an kill arm. conspicuously. Unless, of course, you want to die. Oh. Hmm. That's one way to do it, I oh, guess. Look, there, there is his, his uh, quote unquote dad. The only thing that can hurt me is you. Oh, it just never stops. <laughs> These one-liners. Yeah, that's so all he. Ta that's all he ever talks about. And we'll be ready. I could protect you if you change me. <laughs> you already do protect me. Is it ever even possible? <laughs> just a little something bright in your day. Yeah, but they're supposed to be. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, they're all gonna lose it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> Look at him all. Yeah, because remember, he's he's the most recently turned. Yep. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, is she gonna lose? Oh, oh no! That's a lot of blood. That's now. a lot. I'm sorry, I can't. Sure, he's very upset with himself, and I doubt he'll listen to anyone but you right now. So this guy's got his like act together. Yeah, he right? can control like, he's got time. He's control. the first one. Yeah, yeah, he's that guy's legit. Yeah. Well, Ed, maybe not push her across the room next time. Yeah, I don't know why he launched. Was a little her. aggressive. Yeah. I knew who I wanted to be. I wanted to help people, even if I am dead, regardless. Like, like hell, Carla, you couldn't be damned. You've always been very gracious about us. You believed as Edward does. To take away his soul. Oh, uh, first I thought he was like gonna solder her wound too, like <laughs> to make sure that there's no. No, he's gonna even trace burn the blood it. so yeah. it doesn't sit there and yeah. you know, like antagonize him. Yeah. Smart move. I didn't know her blood was part gasoline and really. He put alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. At some point, something's gonna separate us, and the only solution is to change me. That's not a solution. It's a tragedy. Do not understand my feelings for you at all. Kiss me. What's that look? That's the look. And he looks he looks flexed. The age thing's really bugging her in this. I mean, that's gonna be the theme, I'm thinking. Her aging I'm and her looks. Oh, it's no not there. Today. 
They probably didn't want. Oh, don't worry. He's, 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 in, in, her he's in her room. <laughs> he's in her room while she's at school. <laughs> oh, it's just waiting. Looking at the I think ground. the neighbors are like, hey, that they, Cullen kid's in the yard again, just standing there <laughs> looking aimlessly away. We have to leave Forks. Why? Carlos supposed to be 10 years old and he looks. People are starting to notice. I've got to think of something to say to Charlie. Uh, no, you're not coming. <laughs> you know how many other people he's had to say this to? Mm -hmm. I mean my family and myself. I just don't belong in my world. Then. This is like the scene like in White Fang where he's <laughs> telling the dog, like, just go and you pretend like you're mad at it. Go, get out of here. <laughs> I'm coming. I don't want you to come. Oh. oh. Just like White Fang. Yep. Leave. <laughs> he didn't want to. Oh, look how crushed she is. You don't want me. It's not that. It's not you. Oh, it's bro. Oh, come on. He said it. Come on. Can you just promise me something? Don't do anything reckless. And I'll promise something to you in return. I won't come back. I never existed, I promise. You think he's saying that? Or it's what he was told to say. I'll find There's, you. I'll tell you what, though. There's no heartbreak like teenage heartbreak. Oh, there isn't. There, it's true. There's no heartbreak like teenage heartbreak. That, that messes people up big time. Your view of the world is different. Yep, you think that's all that you matters. That's it. You can't think four steps ahead. She's going to sleep in the woods. Oh, answer. You weren't kidding. Oh, I think we know who it is. <clears throat> oh, see, they oh, were looking for Oh, Graham Green making an appearance. Wait, the guy has a shirt Sorry. now? Oh, no. Oh, Still that's not who I thought it was. Yeah, we, we all Where's knew. Where's your shirt, dude? And Well, he knew him, so I guess it's all right. Yeah, thank Look, you, Sam. Sam. He just likes to walk around in his jean shorts and no shirt in the woods. Yeah, now we're in October here. When I oh, look, look at her. She's sitting up in her room. Oh, oh, no, just months are going to pass oh, by. She just sits up in her window. You think they brought in Michael Bay just to do this shot? Yeah, just to do this yeah. shot. Yeah. Who else can you talk to when lost? Like your five best friends at school? Yeah, you have plenty of friends. <laughs> the camera's just... You took everything with you. Wait, is she writing his mom? Yeah. Yeah. Like they would just let her sit at the table yeah, by herself. Yeah. Nobody's like, hey, Bella, what's wrong? The pain is my only reminder that he was real. You're going to Jacksonville. Live with your mother. I'm not leaving Forks. This behavior, quite frankly, it's scaring the hell out of me. Go, go to Jacksonville. Make some new friends. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be just as nice to you as they were in Forks when you showed up. I'm gonna uh, go shopping tomorrow with Jessica. I need a girls' night out. Girls' night shopping. I like it. That's a tough spot for the dad to be in, though. All those zombie dating people and no hot guys kissing anybody. Oh, we got some bad boys on motorbikes. Oh, it's those guys. Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why he's like that in there. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Do you think Edward's not even in this movie anymore? Just little ghosts of them she wants to go down to there to put herself in danger to put herself in danger to see if he'll show up yep uh, oh my god maybe she wants to make him jealous yeah. oh she trying to make, make him, him jealous je with that guy that's not gonna work oh no so offense to that actor I don't think. Yeah, she, I well, don't think you. She, I don't think she promised oh, anything. No, look at her. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna show you. You say something, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he doesn't care. She's trying to make him jealous. Yeah. Hey, um, what the hell's wrong with you? Well, at least the guy brought her back, yeah. all nice and safe. You're insane, actually, or suicidal. She's oh. going to purposely start doing dumb Dang. shit. Yep. Oh. So she can see him. What does she got if in the back there? What's in the back of that truck? She, she got her own. If a rush of danger is yep. what it takes to see him, that's what she's going to find. 
I bet she's got her own, own oh. motorbike. Oh, that tool that he was holding on to wasn't important. Just threw it on the ground. Wow. Oh, look at that. Scrap metal. <laughs> you shouldn't have. I saved it from the junkyard. I think they'll probably cost more to fix than they're worth. He knows. I get it if you think that this is really stupid and reckless. Yeah, I mean, it's completely stupid and reckless. <laughs> Let's do it. When Cue the 80s ah, music. Ah, yes. Cue the 80s music the montage. montage <laughs> Rebuilding the bikes. Can get, we get no getting a little, way out? <laughs> get, getting a little closer as you turn the, the wrench. wrench. Oh, yeah. Brushing the hair out of her face. Hand yeah. me the 10 millimeter. Oh She's going to. Oh, he's just lifting it. <laughs> I guarantee you there's going to be a spot where he smudges, like, grease or something on her, and they have that little fight. <laughs> hey, Jake. Hey, guys, this is Bella. What about the part where you're his girlfriend? Uh, really? Friends, That's how they come in? Yeah. <laughs> Burn! Actually, remember I said she's a girl and a friend. The montage. Here we go. The montage. Yeah, so, did. So, so this is a wrench, and you turn <laughs> it to the right. <laughs> I wish I could tell you about Jake. I mean, he makes me feel alive. This dude's gonna jump out of the friend zone. Yep. What's up with you and age? I mean, how old was that Cullen guy anyway? But even Jake can't keep the dreams away. <laughs> he should hang up that dream catcher. Yeah. Hanging out with Jake, that seems to take your mind off things a bit. And then you gotta learn to love what's good for you. And go to bed. If I told you I couldn't have fixed these bikes, what would you have said? Doubting your mad skills? Maybe if I was smart, I would have dragged out the rebuild of it. Uh, I worked too quick. I was going to say something. Yeah. Is that Sam Ely? Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> They're not really fighting, Bella. Well, Scary yeah, but it hell. just looked like he just <laughs> threw him rush. off. <laughs> oh, total rush. He shouldn't have said that. I mean, that's, it's high. It's not crazy high, but it's high enough where. They just think they run this place. Ember used to call them hall monitors on steroids. That's Ember. <laughs> pretty <Wee>. sure. <laughs> pretty yeah, sure those guys uh, aren't did you really on much. Did you see that guy like stare back like that? <clears throat> Sam keeps giving me this look like he's waiting for me or something. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> really scared. <Not. laughs> oh, whiskey throttle. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my camera for YouTube. Yeah. Here, let me stand right in front of you as I show you how to do this stuff. Slowly release the clutch. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be a buzz killing pin. <laughs> oh, look at that, like a natural. <laughs> She's loving it. She didn't shift from first to second gear. Did you see that? Maybe it had a quick shifter. That's what they added, yeah. Probably added cruise control, too. Oh, here comes the... Oh! Oh! Into the rock. <laughs> he does a James Marsden and Sex Drive just lets it go they off just as he gets do off. a tire screeching on a gravel road? Mm -hmm. No. They they oh, man, she's oh. bleeding. No more bikes. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We were apologizing for bleeding. Oh, that's yeah, right. Remember? You can bleed around normal people and they don't go crazy. Mm. Oh, what a, I, that's a good move. Make sure she bumps her head. <laughs> Take off shirt to show abs. <laughs> did, he, did the author actually write that? Smooth. Like, Jacob then You're took off You're sort of beautiful. It's just, if you cut your hair. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? I, <laughs> I did see something in the woods. Totally. Baby, I believe. No, he doesn't. A bear, maybe? Or an alien. You're lucky you didn't get probed. Five hikers have been killed by some bear. But they can't find the bear. Bella's bear? Yeah, I guess. I'm... Be our friend again? <laughs> Be... That's well, welcome. You, you wanted to go uh, see a movie uh, with me. That yeah. look says no. Yeah, sure. How about face punch? <laughs> Is that a prelude to the end of the night? So face punch, huh? You like action movies? Not really. 
Why is he there? Yeah. Did she call him and tell him to show up because they were all going to a movie? You know, are you even oh, old enough maybe. To, to see this movie? Oh, no. <laughs> Bro. He's taller than you. Look at the poster. Oh, yeah, it looks like, like Fast and like Furious. Fast. See, did you hear that? Yeah. Angela got uh, sick. So Eric's okay. taking care of her. It was going to be a whole group thing. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> the Wilhelm scream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna well, we just learned uh, who the dominant male of mm -hmm. the uh, of the two are. What a marshmallow! <laughs> <laughs> what a freaking! I'm gonna. I gotta write that one. What a marshmallow! <laughs> what? I can't hold your hand. I just think it, you know, means something a little different to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Was still in the front oh, zone. Brutal. You like me, right? And you think I'm sort of beautiful? <laughs> Handsome. Sort of. Don't do this. And this is what's going to make him cut his hair. Because you're about to ruin everything. Oh, Whoa. Dude. And I need you. Well, I've got loads of time. Uh -oh. I'm not going to give up. That's not going to work. Oh, God, no. Friend zones can be wildly toxic i will explain in our wrap-up friend zones oh, wildly friends. toxic they're not as innocent as no. we joke around them to be no it's because of him right never ever do that ever do this, that. Is good. this is good stuff. oh he won't let won't let her down <sighs> he's got to make her chase him though that's what he's got to do i need to go home what is your problem right now? You're my problem. You want me to put you in the hospital? Whoa, 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 whoa bro. What's going on? Okay, we should be back around three. Hold his shirt on again. Is that Taylor now? Did he cut his hair? Ah, it changes things, doesn't it, Bella? Guy gets a haircut. And he gets a tattoo. He's a bad boy. The door didn't even close. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought you were too sick to come outside. Go away. And it starts yep, again. It's starting. What's wrong? Hey, what happened? But if you want somebody to blame, how about those filthy blood suckers you love? You've been lying to everyone. Charlie. Usually when you say you're lying to everyone, there's more examples. You don't just say your dad. Yeah. Wow, apparently they're all just yeah, out in the rain so with their shirts He must have just off. finally hit the age where yep. the it kicked in on him. Yeah. We yep. can't be friends anymore. It, it's killing me. It kills me. It's not you. It's me. I'm not good. This is over. It's been you changed. Can't break up with me. You weren't even together. You were friends. And don't come back or you're going to get hurt. Ah. Uh. Yo, maybe you should try going out with Mike again and go see in a nice romantic comedy. Seems like a stand-up guy. I will find a place where I can see him. Oh, she, oh, she can't leave well enough alone, can she? I will do something dumb enough to where he reappears. Oh, no. Look who's back. Run. I went to visit the Collins, but... The house is empty. I'm surprised they left you behind. I like that he's got his sport coat open. <laughs> Red he vampire. did last time. Do the Collins visit often? Why? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, all the time. <laughs> I better. <laughs> that was convincing. Because he's pretty protective. But he's far away, isn't he? Why are you here? Favor to Victoria. I thought you didn't really care for James, though. Victoria feels it's only fair to kill Edward's mate, an eye for an eye. Threaten him. Edward would know who did it. I don't think he will. Be afraid. I'm doing you a kindness. You will feel nothing. You still got that mace handy? I remember, it didn't do shit, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm ordering you. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said they had more money this time around. <laughs> oh. You're gonna give her a... 
<laughs> I thought I thought he was gonna give a give her a little wink. <laughs> oh, this guy's toast. Ain't no way he's taking out like four or five werewolves. Bill, what the hell were you doing out in the woods? Well, you know, just reminiscing. Thunder baseball. You saw. All right. Well, Harry. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just. Uh... Yeah, he definitely yeah. knows. Yeah. I should go to the station. Yeah, you should. Can you just stay in the house? You know that's absolutely not going to happen, right? Who does she think she is, Carl? Stay in the house! The old rocks oh, at the window. The old rocks at the window. <laughs> oh, wake up! <laughs> Make sure that... Oh, look who's come crawling. Stay. His shirt is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Parkour is awesome. Parkour. <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> His shirt is gone. <laughs> if you ever had a secret, you can tell anyone. You have no idea how tight I'm bound. I hate what they've done to you. Touch my oh. ass. Oh. There's eight of them. <laughs> we got in good shape for this movie. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when we walked on the beach at La Push? The story about... Yep, we all remember. And? I understand why that's the only part you remember. Ah, see, she wasn't listening to the other part about... It's got, ah. those, got those jeans down just enough where you can see the, <laughs> see the lower <laughs> low rise, low, low, band. Low rise jeans. I gotta go. I'll start wondering where I am. Oh, nice hug, yeah. <laughs> Shirtless, she's like, oh my God, and you're hairless too. There's like zero hair on your body. <laughs> This is just, like just, really pushing the boundaries of a friend zone hug. Just, just oh, that I think they're keep, beyond that. Just keep. Cause she keep, she wanted him out of the friend zone when she showed up at his place. You would have been scared. You should be. It's like a bad story. Oh no. <laughs> Forgot to put uh, trim on your door there. <laughs> Uh oh, they're waking him up again. It's like hazing at a fraternity or something. We didn't want this. <laughs> what did we do? Oh my God. What did he do? What did he tell you? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> you know he... get back. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see it. Oh, it's way faster than I thought it'd be. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, he's going to transform now right in front of her. Yeah, I think we're going to have a wolf Oh, here fight. we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Did he almost do a superhero landing? I can't too? even yell. My voice is so <laughs> gone. I can't yell. Oh, gonna that was a, awesome. We're going to have a battle for the alpha male of the, uh, of the pack here. Ah, yep. <laughs> well, there goes the boat. Working on that boat for months. <laughs> oh, they hit the camera guy. Is it possible that everything is true? I think we should go back and see if Jacob's okay. No way. Jacob's natural. You see a phase on the fly? Come on in, Bella. You want a bite? You think so? Well, that, oh my God. <laughs> These two guys. I gotta be honest, guys. This one's so far. <clears throat> The people in the comments who said this one gets better, <laughs> y'all lied hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's, well, I'll wait till the end. Who's this? Bella Swan. So, oh, you're the vampire girl. So wow. You're the wolf girl. I'm engaged to one. Oh, and check it out. We can hear each other's thoughts. Would you shut up? It's like just spilling the beans. You're not the first monsters I've met. Oh, she's gonna think maybe there's a chance that I could have that. Oh, now they're just oh, they're buddies. They yeah. had it out. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, I tried to kill you. Yep. <clears throat> I well, to be on, to be fair, she did slap him in the oh, face. Oh, look at this. She won't let him catch up. So you're a werewolf. You've killed people, Jake. Bella, we're not killing anyone. And who is? What we're trying to protect you people from. Vampires. No. 
You can't kill vampires. They'll they'll kill you. Oh my god. Oh, she's saying they're strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Victoria's here. It was. We chased her all the way to the Canadian border the other night. She keeps coming back. We don't know what she's after. Yeah. I do. Me. We've got this place covered. Yeah, Victoria's the last one left. You got something, Harry? Nope. No, nothing. nothing. He's a vam he's a werewolf himself. He is, yep. yeah, you know I bet it. he is. Yeah. Uh -huh. or, or minimum he knows, of course. Yeah, he knows for sure yeah. because he saw he saw the pop. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't think uh, Graham Greene can turn. I don't think so either. Either that or maybe he doesn't have any he, left. Yeah, maybe he's too old or something. Okay, so we've got like, what, two, three werewolves on one here? She's oh. real fast. Yeah, she's probably the, well, she even said she thought she was the fastest one of them. Mm, that's right. And they didn't catch her the last time, too, or they had to chase her all the way up to the Canadian border. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh no. man. Are we going to really lose this guy? No, remember, they're not like regular vampires. Okay, those cliffs look a little higher from that angle. <laughs> 40 degrees out probably and they jump in the water well they all dove in too oh my god i said it was like a f probably 40 degrees the water down yeah. there she just fell she didn't even like <laughs> jump she just fell oh yeah, yeah. that's gonna push you right into oh, the freaking rocks. Into the rocks here she comes Damn it oh she ko'd herself this is i don't even know what to say about this nah, see ya oh, oh she, got she the, didn't get to him no get or get to her yeah, i'm sorry purple lips <laughs> that was the worst <laughs> cpr <laughs> i've ever seen for those watching keep a beat to the song staying alive uh uh uh, uh. Yeah, but it's also they you can't really do CPR because you could break their ribs and affect their heart. Yeah, the eyes. CPR so, you can definitely break people's ribs. So that's there. that's why that's why if it always looks hokey in movies and TV shows because they're not really doing it. Harry Clearwater had a heart attack. Charlie and my dad are over at his place with his family. She's gone. Oh, seriously? Damn it. Sam got angry, lost it for a split second, and was standing too close. Oh, his, he'll never be able to take that back. His fiance. Yeah. I, I figured it was something like that. Yeah. I don't know if it was too close there or if, uh, like, they were in bed or something. She was asleep and he had a nightmare. Yeah, and, and did that. Or something. I feel like I'm gonna disappear. You're not gonna lose yourself. It's gonna happen. I wouldn't let that happen. She gonna pull back? Oh, Edward. I knew it. I knew she was gonna pull back. Oh, look at how big that steering wheel is. It's like a school bus. You're here. That's a trap. It's a trick. If a Cohen is back here, this is their territory. I can't protect you here. Okay, it's okay. You don't have to. You're kind of assuming a lot there. <sighs> yeah, you kind of are. <laughs> it is. Would you like to explain to me how you're alive? I saw a vision of you. You jumped off a cliff. I was cliff jumping, recreationally. She was lost ever since your brother or whatever you would consider. He only. Calls in once every few months. He said he wants to be alone. Oh boy. I thought <laughs> I had to say you were safe. I'm talking about the other blood sucker. He tried to kill Bella because of you. Oh, she mm. can't see I werewolves. can't see past you and your pack of mutts. Don't get me upset. Oh, you wouldn't like you me when like I'm angry. angry. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Just de-escalate a little bit here. Yeah, we're all on the same team yeah, everybody for now. Po yeah, we're all on team Bella. <laughs> Are the rest coming back? No. Anything else? Well, if that's all, then you better go run back to Sam. I keep breaking my promise. And stop making any promises. <laughs> oh, in the kitchen? Yeah. 
Ah, saved, saved by, by the, the bell. bell. <laughs> oh. So that's what Brazil? He is in Rio. Right? Yeah, he's in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, Rio, yeah. Oh, and he just crushes the cell phone yeah. with his hand. Who is that? Step back. Jake, who was that? Bella. Why didn't you let me speak to him? She didn't ask for Bella. you. I don't Bella. care. Bella. He's going to the Voltori. He wants to die too. Just like Romeo and Juliet, mm -hmm. where Romeo thinks Juliet's gone. Oh, are they going to get there in time? <clears throat> if you're unhappy with your love, join us. You know what will happen anyway. Without cause. Such a waste. <laughs> He's gonna wait until noon and the sun's at its highest. Hey, we saw that part. Remember we saw that at the beginning of the movie? She was running through the people, the red yep, capes. That's right. Yeah, with all the red flags. Very. Which there are multiple. Very. <laughs> St. Marco's Day Festival. They're commemorating the expulsion of Oh, I think she's city. remembering the... It's a perfect setting. Yeah. The Voltorium the Leverland dream. and reveal himself. If I go, he'll read my thoughts. He'll think I'm lying. He'll rush into it. Oh, that oh. tension. It's going to be under the clock tower. I wonder if Doc Brown's going to be waiting there <laughs> doing a science experiment. There better be, there better be a DeLorean involved. Just picking her way through. <laughs> Like, who's this? Get out of my way, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna yell that word. Oh, no. Open your eyes, look at me. I'm alive. <laughs> oh, just, I told you. Just smokes right him. back in there. You had to know that I was alive, but you didn't have to feel guilty about anything. I can. I'll let you go now. I just couldn't live in a world where you don't exist. You said I lied. Yeah, we all knew you were lying. <laughs> you even knew too, Bella. Come on. I can't be the only one that's a little disappointed in the density of his chest rug. <laughs> he's only 17. <laughs> he's 110. <laughs> yeah, but he stopped, stopped aging at yeah. 17. That's, you know what, for a 17-year-old, good point answer. That was patchy. I'm expecting, like, Paul Stanley. <laughs> God. Oh, ah, it was her. All is right in the world. Yeah. Another point. Poor team Edward. Poor Jacob never had a chance. <laughs> no, he didn't. I mean, he, she, he was just the stand-in guy. Him. She nuzzled him, but that was it. Uh-oh, this is going to be awkward. Laura wants to speak with you again. The girl comes with us. No, you can go to hell. <laughs> Come on, guys. Nuts. Is that Dakota, Dakota Fanning? Fanning? Arrow sent me to see what was taking so long. Cover yourself up. <laughs> Just sparkling. Put on this Lebowski robe. <laughs> what a happy surprise. Ah, blood appeals to you so much. How can you stand to be so close to her? You can't read Bella's thoughts. I would love to see if you are an exception to my gifts as well. He's going to find out about the werewolves and the whole business. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Ah, see? Hey, look at that. Nothing. Let us see if she is immune to all our powers. Uh-oh. Is there like a guinea pig? What's Jane's power? Pain. Stop! Oh, stop! Oh, so she's gonna try oh, it. I'll see if it works on her. I bet it won't. Ah. Well, Aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> nothing. You just give her you the DS. Nothing. <laughs> Mark, she confounds us all. You already know what you're going to do, Otto. She knows too much. Oh, oh that. Choke slam. Oh, he Ooh, cracked, he cracked the face. Him. What? It's like Wolverine. Ooh. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I will say this is pretty awesome. Kill me! 
Not him. Wow, oh, he's never heard that before. You would give up your life for someone like us. You don't know a thing about his soul. If only it were your intention to give her immortality. Wait. Bella will be one of us. I've seen it. I'll change her myself. Has she? Yeah, but she can also, she might be more powerful mm. and change the future for him. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Are they running to a white picket fence and everything? And Oh, she's got her eyes oh, changed. Yeah. You see that? Make your preparations. Goodbye, my oh. young friend. So they want yep. them to turn her like fast. Yeah. yeah. They want her to do it. They want them to do it like yesterday. Oh. Leaving you was the hardest thing I've done in a hundred years. I'm so sorry. Once Alice changes me, can't get rid of me. Oh boy. <laughs> it is. Here we go. I'll find it's you. Stage five clinger. There's ways to keep the vote in the dark. The only thing that I can think of, for it, to be fair, is to just vote. It would be nice to not want to kill you all the time. <laughs> See, his heart's in the right place. I'm very honest. <laughs> his heart's in the right place. This isn't a life I would have chosen for myself. Good point. So, no. Voice of mm. reason. Voice of, yeah, it was. Yes. <laughs> Kellen Lutz don't we can care. We fight with these votaries some other way. Yes. I'll wait until after graduation to make it easier in Charlie. Lord, I want you to be the one to do it. Oh, oh, Jeff, oh, oh, traps. Oh, oh he's all oh, ripped no. up. <laughs> I know you have something to say to me, but I want to say something to you first, if that's all right. Thank you for keeping Bella alive, and I did. My turn to talk. I'm here to remind you about a key point in the treaty. What key point? If any of them bites a human, the truce is over. Oh, but if I choose it, it doesn't do you. No. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be one of them, Bella. It's not up to you. I don't care how close you are, it's not Jacob. Whoa! Oh, hey, oh, hey. What? Come on. As a friend. Sweet. Don't make me choose. You already chose. What are you talking about? Because it'll be him. Oh. That's the exact moment his heart broke. Uh, rough. Look at the Don't speak for her. Oh boy. Whoa. We're gonna throw down right here and now. Stop. Uh, oh, now. just scratch him behind the ear. <laughs> ah, the old fashioned love triangle. Mm -hmm. Just give me five years. That's too long. I'll be 23. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have hit the wall. I'll be Time, done. <laughs> time's a ticking. Time's Three a ticking. We got to get it going. I have one condition. What's the condition? Marry me, Bella. Oh, oh. oh that's a big one. You didn't even get down on a knee. Where's her? Oh, that's that's the, a big one. It. Fade to black. We don't know her answer. I thought I thought they were gonna do it. Actually, like, like. They were going to cut him off. Like, he wasn't even going to yeah, say Yeah, that's anything. what I thought, too. He and wasn't going to get boop. it out, and then they were going to... Well, guys, there it was. Twilight, the new moon, and right All off right. the bat... Not even in frame. Great start there, Quinn. Well, I thought you'd be ready by now. You're over there wasting time. But here we go. That was the Twilight Saga, new moon. Sure you had to be and... I got to say, guys, this no one was not as fun to watch with my buddies here as the first one. We didn't have nearly the laughs. Uh, it wasn't nearly as fun. Uh, you know, if all that aside, they did seem to up the budget <laughs> a little bit more for the CGI. We got to learn a little bit more Over about the werewolves. Making excuses. Which, you know, the werewolf transitions were pretty cool. You know, normally in the movies, it's real slow and like bones are popping out of their shoulders and it's well, really gross. Well, this but isn't thriller. For, for this one, for uh, the intended audience, I think they made it a little, a little snappier for them. So uh, we had that. I think that... Bella's dad knows everything that's going on. I don't think he's the sheriff in town this long working oh, yeah. with, with everybody. With everyone, yeah. I think he knows 
everything that's happening and has to play it off like he does. And that's that's kind of my early prediction here going forward. But, you know, we saw a lot of uh, pretty unhealthy relationships, if we're honest here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Robert Pattinson's not in three quarters of the movie, which was kind of a bummer for the three yeah, of us. He's, he's, well, I mean, he didn't fan. get top billing, but he was second, yeah. you know. But we got to learn more about uh about jacob's story and yeah i mean not just uh, obviously i'm not the intended audience right i don't think any of us are the first one i don't know if that was just a fluke that we had so much fun with it and it was unintentionally uh fun but uh this one kind of left lacking a little bit again not the intended audience but uh yeah not as good as the first one is what i'm gonna have to go with uh I and mean, you gave it a 2.9 last time, or 3.9. 3.9 last time, yeah. So this one, a bit of a step back, even though they did advance the story with the uh, with the Cullens and the Wolves, and now we have we learn about this new uh, higher power within the van. Ah, you know what? We did learn some more things. So I'm going to change oh just my. a little bit. Oh, that is garbage. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to go a two and a half out of five answers. Uh, not as much fun as the first one. And yeah, I can't wait they, to hear what my cohorts. They didn't have here. they didn't have nearly as many as good stupid one liners that we're all chuckling about. That was a big no. thing. Where he's like, I, I mean, can't they had they had a you. handful early I can't on. Quit but that you. Was it. I uh, can't. But he did have the honestly. I couldn't see myself living without you. I, like he was ready to off himself just because he, he thought she was well, dead. They foreshadowed with Romeo and Juliet. <sighs> <laughs> but uh, uh and no that was the thing that really hurt it too it was the was the whole not having big rob in it i mean that's mm -hmm. that's the reason why we were watching because like uh let's see batman's humble beginnings yeah. um this was probably right before right during uh, harry potter when he was in that as well um yeah the the one bright spot yeah was the werewolf cgi that was a lot that was pretty good, actually, especially for 09. Yeah, the, the first scene, I was like, oh, what's what's this? But oh, when you they, just see it just in the shadows yeah, in the but trees. Yeah, then it got better. Like, it, it was just like, a, it was just a prop that they just kind of <laughs> shifted. Like, no, it's a wolf, I swear <laughs> to God. But other than that, I mean, duh. <laughs> it's just, you know, obviously, yes, it's not our intended, uh, not for us and all this other jazz and it's for the 17 year old girls who read the books and all that other stuff so and it is a step back so i'm gonna have it at 1.9 1.9 after the last one was a two so. even though we had graham green in it <laughs> graham green. Yeah, i'm pretty sure he he's does, I, th I think he's won an oscar but then he has a heart attack yeah, that's true so oak it's all on you <clears throat> i lost my voice this last weekend so yeah, ironically enough i was at the uh so at the Mr. Olympia bodybuilding competition, you know, lots of people, fake tans, muscles. <laughs> um, oh, a weird thing for people to enjoy, right? And uh, we put out a bodybuilding pay-per-view, and for millions upon millions upon millions of people, what I went and watched on Saturday night, uh, they would not be the intended audience, <laughs> right? <laughs> What, you didn't sit down with Jay Cutler and watch this? I sat behind Jay Cutler on a <laughs> Saturday night, but I've never sat down with Jay and watched Twilight. Uh, so I think that's Next really, time. I think it's really important when we review these movies that the people watching the review who enjoyed these movies understand that we are not the intended audience. And I think there's a lot of people who watched these movies originally were when they were the intended audience who now have a different viewpoint of the movie um maybe some that includes nostalgia <clears throat> so when they you know when they watch the movie now they might think it was you know kind of childish but there's always going to be that nostalgia mm. there's a movie with hulk hogan called no holds barred oh yeah so when i was a kid thought it was awesome when i was a kid <laughs> oh yeah hadn't seen it forever went back and watched it as an adult and there was a, it was funny to watch, but I was like, oh my God, this is so bad. I mean, like if you, so those of you who know which movie I'm talking about, have you watched it when you were younger? What year did that came out? Like late 80s like 88, or something? 88, 89. Late, yeah. 80s. And I thought it was awesome, Hulk Hogan, no holds barred. But the yeah. point is the intended audience is so important and we are not the intended audience. So I am going to give this movie a very, very low score. 
Uh, but I want people who love these series yep. to understand that, look, we're not coming in and just like... Not, we're, not bashing on We're not coming in and no. bashing no. your favorite movie. And if you're somebody who was in the theaters and watched us when you were 17, look, I get it. You probably were loved it and you were like, oh my God. Like, you get it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and now watching it, maybe as an adult, if you're 30 or, or whatever, um, you know, maybe you think... Like you look back and like, oh, I remember how much I loved that. But I would challenge somebody, um, man, woman, into the vampire genre or not. I would challenge somebody to watch this for the first time at, in their late 30s or in their early 40s and not <laughs> think it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. Um, the the but again, that's coming from somebody who's my age. We are not the intended audience. So yeah. when you write a romance line like "You give me everything by just breathing," oh, that's you know, good stuff. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> like I can I can picture like my seventeen year old self like being like I could see myself saying oh, that. Right, that would work on the fifty <laughs> yard like, line so, so after I'm, football I'm 40, game. To I'm forty three exactly. I'm yep. forty three. I've been. Um, <clears throat> I've been with my fiance for um, for uh, about six years now, uh, but you know I've had short-term relationships, long-term relationships, the on and off again relationships, and so I've done a lot of cheesy, corny stuff. <laughs> so when I watch these movies, for as much as like at my age, I watch them and think like, okay, this is bad. I never want to forget like. Yeah, or at least try to have the perspective of what I would have thought when I was 17. Oh, we were all there. 100%. We these all movies. probably use worse lines than that. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now that being said, um, I'm trying to think of movies that are supposed to be romantic movies <clears throat> that are this that are this bad. You know what I'm saying? Like I think of movies that are romantic. Like I, I joke about The Notebook because I don't like the mom. And you can joke about the notebook, like, hey, like, you know, she was engaged and left and went back to the other guy. But there's there's a very powerful love story in the movie The Notebook. And I I love The Notebook. I really do. And I've watched it when it came out, you know, maybe 15 years ago. And I watch it now and I still love it because it's about, you know, going, being at different points in your life. And The Notebook is about young love and maturing and stuff. I love The Notebook. So I'm not going to sit here and say I don't. Uh, I don't dislike like you know, romantic, romance, movie. romantic movies. There's a lot of, you know, I'm sure if we... Google... Yeah, but that's the well-done, probably romantic movie. <clears throat> right. Exactly. That's exactly my point here. <laughs> so I don't want anybody, like, watching this. Because, you yeah. know... We're, yeah, we talked about... We've this. talked about stuff like this before. Like, we might not be the typical YouTube reactor. So I don't want people watching this reaction and be like, well, of course these meatheads don't like romance movies. I do. I love a good romantic movie and i think you guys have seen you know if you follow our channel or not none of us for whatever we look like superficially are afraid to express emotion in these reactions i i just think this is a really poorly done movie um if you're anybody that's past like 25 um i think the acting is is very mediocre but it had you know it's it's tough to to have a full cast of young actors and to expect them to be all delivered. really, really talented. But on the flip side of it, like, look, we watched a movie, totally different genre. I mean, a completely different genre. Um, but we watched a World War II movie not that long ago called Jojo Rabbit. And they had like a 10 year old actor in, who nailed it. And a, a young, young woman who was probably, you know, 16 years old, who absolutely nailed it. And granted, I, I'm not comparing the content at all. But there, there are very talented young actors. We saw Dakota Fanning in this yeah. movie, and Dakota did. She was incredible in Man on Fire when she was she was very young. Um, so there's a difference between you know going after a young actor um, because they're you know just experienced and not you know some seasoned actor, and it just being bad. And I just feel like this was I feel like it was poor acting. Um, <clears throat> the plot was. I don't know. The plot is what it is. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's off, pretty it's much off it, a book. It's a love was, story. Yeah. Um, you know, we pretty much introduced I just, I just, I feel like it's, werewolf yeah. character. Honestly, to, to be perfectly honest and being being older now, I feel like it's, you know, and I don't know if people have discussed this overly, I feel like it's almost a dangerous story. 
like I feel like it's it's like it's like telling like these teenage girls like love and being loved is everything like she doesn't want to live if she's not being loved yeah. by him and there was a lot of comments there's that. a lot of there's a lot of like you're my everything in my whole world and i understand that um <clears throat> i i had a like a four-year relationship kind of on and off from 18 to 22 and i'm not gonna lie when, when we broke up i was like i don't this is probably like a bit of an overshare but i was like i don't know where my life is going and I was 22, you know, and for like three months straight, I fell asleep watching movies on the couch because I couldn't sleep at night. You know, I didn't want to date anybody else. You know, I tried doing the, I'll go out on dates and to forget about the other person and it didn't work. So I don't want to ever act like I, I can't relate to that mindset. Like somebody is your world. But I think to put it in film as powerfully as they did here is, is really dangerous. And I do think there's a lot of Look, and, and things were a little different, I think, maybe in 2008, nine, the way people looked at things. And I think social media has opened up a lot of conversations that might not have existed before. But I think some of the, the romantic things in this movie, if they would come out today, would be absolutely hammered. Like, if this was a new movie coming out, I think relationship experts, I think therapists, I think parents, I think everybody would come out and say, like, these are really dangerous teenage romance lessons. Um, and I think there was a novelty to the first one. Like it was so cheesy and we're dying laughing yeah. and I gave it a five and the whole time I'm just whatever. And this one, it, it, it wasn't like as comedic cheesy. No, no. And so I think how bad it was came through. Um, you know, it had like this whole like love can conquer all like message that you want to believe when you're 16 years old. Another thing, she just turned 18 and he's like, marry me. And... I know a lot of people like have nostalgic thoughts about getting married, you know, very young in high school. High school sweeter, yeah. I'm 43. I think like nine tenths of my friend that have gotten married uh, when they were either in their late teens or early to mid twenties are now divorced. Um, the, the, your goals in life, the things that you want. Um, if there's ever a period in time of your life where you're changing and maturing and changing what you want, like that 18 to 25 year old period is massive. And even from 25 yeah. to 35, yeah. like your goals in life and the things you want, even going to college and careers. And so to watch a movie that's like so like heavy, like this is my this whole is life. It. This is the works. Yeah. It's, I, I think it's cheesy and and i don't think i'm jaded i think i'm a realist but i also think like i said and some people did drop in the comments yeah, they did. <clears throat> on uh, on patreon like there, there's some danger um in how much like bella like puts like the entire quality of her life into edward's acceptance and love mm -hmm. and it's like you want like ed as like a it's like 43 year old me like her dad in the movie is probably about my age right yeah. like if i had an 18 year old daughter i would just be like trust me you have so much life ahead of you and i know this breakup is little does he know. oh she I, she definitely i, a therapist I know this sure. breakup is tough yeah. but you have so much life oh ahead i thought you were you. talking and about I, dan if he gets, he gets married and she turns into a vampire and and don't I worry promise. she has a lot of life right and, and at the at the end of the day also <clears throat> i'm gonna wrap this up here pretty quick she's being very selfish to her friends oh, and to yeah. her family by saying like i'm gonna let this guy you know bite me and, and end my life and the last thing that I'm going to say is the one voice of reason in all of this was Edward's blonde sister, where she said, I wish I would have had yeah, somebody to say no to, say no to, to me. No. And I think we have this whole, and I think the writers maybe threw that in there because they're, even the writers know like this is a, uh, you know, an overly romanticized teenage novel. Let's have some sort of voice of reason. And it's Edward's sister saying, uh, I wish somebody would have voted no for me. Like, she's the one saying, like, don't do this. You have your whole life ahead of you. So, <clears throat> for me, uh, I, 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 like, I wish I could say, like, I laughed as much as I did. Um, and because I know, like, people, especially the people who are, yeah, for the first one, especially people who are staying this long through the reaction, um, you, you're likely a fan of this movie. So, uh, understand that this is coming from somebody who's 43 watching it for the first time and I, I don't like the lessons i don't like the nature of how the, the romance develops um i did have some laughs but um i think the first one i did a one and a five in it look if i'm being honest i think i did the one because it was so cheesy i wanted to like smash the score and then have like the five because of how much fun i had so i'm not gonna like kill it and give it a one again i think 
you know, that was kind of <clears throat> some fun we had with the first one. But I am going to go with the two. Um, I, I just didn't, I didn't think this was a very good movie. Again, I understand it's where it would be popular. High score. Would it would be popular with with the intended audience, but I, I don't think this is a good movie at all. Yeah, I mean, I think a good point you brought up, Oak, that I wanted to slip in there was, you know, if you know, when people are younger like that, they're feeling, you know, like the whole world's everything, the person they're dating. Like, just try to remember, like, if you think of yourself now, like me at 43, I would not take advice from 18-year-old Mason Quinn <laughs> for anything. And like, not not a thing I wouldn't listen to myself when uh, I was 18. He had some so, good you know, ideas. just remember, as you age, Especially as you go about through life, engines. you get a little smarter, your, your outlook. On I'm going to I'm gonna finish this with one more thing that Mason Quinn expired, or expired, explained, and, and inspired is what I meant to say. If you are somebody, and I, this is this is important, if you're somebody who's 17, 18 years old, 22 years old, 25 years old, and you're going through like a really like a really rough, like a really shitty breakup, and you're like in Bella mode, thinking like I don't know how my life is gonna go on, I don't know if somebody else is gonna ever love me like this, and and things like that just I, I promise you and i know it's it's so hard sometimes to see through hurt and pain uh when you go through a breakup with somebody who you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with but look if if you're if you're 18 or you're you're 16 or you're 22 and you're catching this reaction and you made it all the way through to the end yes. and you're in this situation Cabra. listen listen yeah. <laughs> i i swear I swear on my life, I, I wouldn't give you bad advice. And he nailed it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't listen to 18-year-old David's advice. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you're in Bella's spot, somebody breaks up, somebody leaves you, and you're questioning your worth, I promise you, I promise you, it will get better. Don't make rash decisions for your life at 17 or 18 or 25 years old. So if there's anything that positive that can come out of this movie, <laughs> it's learning. Don't make decisions like Bella and Edward. I'm out. There you go. <laughs> well, there you have it. Some words of wisdom once again from the Oak. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.